Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Wednesday the 10th of August 2022. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to use the Wheel of the Year tarot for today's reading and let's see what these cards have to say about Wednesday and what the day is going to look like. So first is the Seven of Cups. Okay, so contemplating what your hopes and dreams are, experimenting with that a little bit. Then the Two of Cups, that looks like one particular dream is becoming realized. And then we've got the Two of Pentacles, and that turns into something which seems like a chore and not a blessing. Oh, okay. So the message I'm getting here, the big warning via the cards, is that your perspective is off. That's something that you absolutely hope for and long for and that's amazing if it were to come true you have the amazing good luck that this thing has come true or it does come true for you so you get everything that you want but what happens after that is you only become focused on the the um work involved in this hope and dream being in your life like so for instance you decide to apply for a course it's really hard to get into you get into the course once you're in it, you celebrate for five days and then all you can focus on is, oh my goodness, this is a lot of work. It's sucking up my whole life and I'm just like not loving this and I feel like I've regressed and taken eight steps back. So ultimately, I'm not satisfied with what I thought I wanted. And whether it's a real thing happening on this day, like you get what you want and you realize, oh, I didn't actually want this. Or it's that shift, you know, the like the five-day honeymoon period that then wears off and you realize, oh, I didn't really want to do this. So what I'm getting here is that um, one of your hopes and dreams or something that you've longed for and worked towards becomes realized and gives you an anticlimactic feeling because you realize that, oh, this either wasn't the right thing for me or whatever, and I feel like I've wasted my time. But the problem is that I feel you get very upset about it and you almost take it as proof that you see hopes and dreams don't come true and you take it to the nth degree and make a whole thing about it. Whereas um, some things are gonna work for us and others aren't. The key is that good things will happen all the time just as much as bad things happen all the time it's balanced the key is to maintain some sort of emotional balance if things don't go your way completely and not to become disenchanted and angry and to throw everything out the window because something doesn't suit you or it doesn't feel the way you you think it ought to feel like you've always wanted to be in a relationship then you are in this relationship. You kind of notice yourself arguing in the kitchen over the money and you're just like, really, this, this is what I'm supposed to be doing? This is what I dreamed about? To have someone in my life and now we're, we're, we're um, bickering about finances? I'm out. It's that extreme response of I'm out because it's not perfect. So I feel that you can kind of be the author of a lot of unhappiness on this day because that is kind of gripey, ungrateful, um, restless, irritable kind of mood. You know, like I deserve good things and you see, I don't get them. Other people get what they want, but I, I um, even when I do get what I want, it's like some sort of bubble is burst and it doesn't work for me and it woe is me. It's really this nitpicky, um, irritant of a mood that can generate a lot of problems in life. Like, you know, you you then say something out of this grumpiness and you pick the wrong person and it, it turns into a major problem. In terms of the areas that are highlighted and supported, we've got all this water here. Water is about connection and relationships. So uh, the first thing I would do is find some way of connecting with your higher self in the morning for five, 10 minutes, just to give you that emotional support and a buffer so if something does blow up in your face that you're not like totally gobsmacked and that you feel somewhat supported and then um like if something doesn't feel right or if something um 
does disappoint you, sharing that with another person in a really honest way and saying, wow, this really isn't or hasn't turned out the way I thought it would and I'm not happy about it and not bottling things up because this connection is um, possible and available to you. And if anything, then you can take that and get to know someone better by saying, you know, this is how I feel. Everything may seem to be perfect and wonderful, but I feel really disappointed here. It may mean that you get to know each other even better. And then here we've got pentacles, which supports areas like work and your physical environment, your, um, your, your actual finances, your income, your savings, your investments, all of that, um, your physical body, anything that has some sort of tangible format. And you've got these two kind of playing around. The two of pentacles is usually about being able to handle the situation and having the strength to do it. In this case, not only do they have the strength to do it, but they turn it into a game. It's like laughable. So your physical circumstances, your work and all of those things, they support you. Your emotions do as well. The things that's missing is air and fire. Both of those are masculine elements. These are both feminine. Okay, so this is really about letting something in, listening again and being surprised and saying, okay, well, this hope and dream didn't work out. What do I care about now? Or what is this person saying in response to what I've shared here in confidence? And maybe there's something really insightful that I would have never expected. So with both of these, I feel that you receive something in terms of your work or in terms of your relationship life where you get richer. So either it's a new relationship or a relationship where something is revealed to be super valuable and you really care about each other. It's your higher self giving you information which you hadn't been privy to before. It's just having a good day at work or seeing an investment opportunity and taking it or... Um, yeah, just being able to get everything done and then some. Fire and air are about life purpose and ideas. And it's about finding a path and kind of figuring it all out. And here you can just kind of back off and let it be handed to you. Like the dreams, which ones work. Let me play around and discuss that and see what's really important to me at this point in my life. And also the everyday pressures are off so I can kind of experiment and look within. So I guess the question then is, what is it that you love? What is it that you want to manifest in future? What do you think will bring you happiness now that you are wiser and smarter and that you realize that certain things don't provide happiness? Okay, so um, yeah, that's what I get. I uh, Number wise, we've got seven and two, that's nine. And another two is 11. 11 is the master number of service. And I think that was there yesterday as well. So by having a word with yourself and saying, hey, listen, how can I manifest a life which suits you? You are my priority right now. You can make such inroads during this time. You can make practical changes that will really, really benefit and serve you. It's like you, you're throwing your own little wedding for yourself here. I always thought about that, like being married to yourself or, I mean, without all the gimmicky stuff. But imagine if you were married to yourself, you were like the person, which you ought to be anyway, that who you love the most and who you want to help and support and make happy and all these things. Just by thinking about yourself like that, what can I do for myself that feels like I'm building my best life and I'm building a life for someone I genuinely care about? So that's really being of service to you in a very a positive way. Okay, so I hope you have a great day. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please hit subscribe and the little bell next to it and share the video online. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.